So what we're doing, we're just watering our seedlings. It's midday. We don't want them to dry out. Some have already sprouted. Some new ones down here. We just need to keep them moist. They've got plenty of heat. So it has everything it needs. It just needs some water. It doesn't need sun initially to sprout, but once these seedlings have all sprouted, it's important that you move them right into the sun. Otherwise, they'll start stretching and become very leggy. They become long and leggy, and they're not a very strong seedling at all. So again, those of you that have sent me pictures, you gotta put them into the sun once they've sprouted. If you do that, you'll be very successful in growing beautiful seedlings like what you see here in front of me. It's important that when you're uh, sprouting your seedlings that you don't put too much water in that tray because if you fill it full with water you can actually drown those seedlings so you don't want to drown the seedlings that seed will actually rot so it's important not to overwater or put too much water in your tray otherwise that seed will rot and you'll get nothing as well so there's different tricks again keep it simple the goal is to keep it simple and we're going to come out with some growing trays domes here shortly as well which will help make life easier for you too. In the greenhouse, we're using trays here that are actually open on the bottom, so that way we don't drown the seedlings. The cocoa core holds 10 times its weight in water, so we can actually water them two, three times a day, and that's more than sufficient. So we're not gonna drown our seedlings with these kind of trays as a result of having it open on the bottom so water can drain out. When you're doing these at home, you're gonna have a tray that's not open because you don't want it to leak all over your your furniture, or your refrigerator, or wherever you're sprouting them. So it's, this gives you a way to drain them. So at home, make sure you don't drown your seedlings by keeping too much water in there. Water them once or twice a day. And then again, once they've all sprouted like you see here, you gotta move them right into the sun. We originally started growing in rock wool, which is a great grow medium as well. It holds four times its weight in water, but it's actually made from rock, Baltic rock. So it's not actually organic or sustainable or compostable. So we researched this for over five years and we finally found a provider that actually makes us a disc, a pod that fits exactly into our tower garden or any other hydroponic systems or even putting it right into soil. This is cocoa core. It's made from coconut husk. And what's incredible about it, it holds 10 times its weight in water. So it really maintains water so it doesn't dry out real fast plus it's sustainable it's compostable at the end when you're done you can throw it in your compost or pull it apart throw it into your your own bed or even onto your grass you're not gonna waste it so that's what we love about the cocoa core plus it's certified organic and our seeds are certified organic so our goal is to have a seedling that's organic that we're selling and shipping to your door um, when you look at um, our certifications, we have three nursery certifications. So for us to ship all over the U.S., we have to have these nursery uh, certificates. And as a result, we get inspected up to nine times a year, our seedlings. So we have our USDA GAP and GIP certification, and that certification then requires all these inspections to happen. So we're the only ceiling provider that has actually gotten their GAP and GIP certification. GAP stands for good agriculture practices and GIP is good handling practices. So six times a year, this agency comes in and inspects our seedlings and they're all random. They just show up, they inspect, and they're always amazed on what we're growing. Since we're not using soil, we have 70% less microbes. Can you imagine that? 70% less bugs. Woohoo! How many of us like bugs? Not most of us, not on our food, right? So, the other three inspections are, revolve around our produce. So all the produce that we sell to the schools, to our restaurants, at our farmer's markets, to distributors, that has gone through three inspections. One of those inspections is announced, and the other two are unannounced. And again, they're always amazed the quality of our produce, and it's because we're growing in this vertical technology, the tower garden. This aeroponic technology allows us to be very, very efficient, use less water, 
90 to 98% less water and 90% less space. Gosh, who wouldn't want to grow in these towers? So again, the certifications, we choose to go get those certifications. And as a result, we're the only seedling provider that has the USDA GIP GAP certification. So when you're getting seedlings from us, they've gone through multiple inspections. So using the cocoa core, another benefit is we get less bugs because we get less algae on top. So compared to the, the rock wall, we would get all those little black and white gnats. Well, with the cocoa core, we don't get that. We get less, less of those gnats. And actually, the cocoa core inhibits bugs as well. So it's another benefit of growing in cocoa core. Less bugs, less algae. We all win when we come to growing a good, healthy seedling. And that's what you're getting from True Garden when you order from us.